Alright, so after some intense grinding in Elite Dangerous, I finally made 5.5 million credits, so I am ready to buy my next ship. And I'm really really enjoy the ship shopping experience in Elite Dangerous, especially the customization process. The Sidewinder is my very first ship. It's a simple, it's fast, and it helped me to make my first money. And I got the Cobra Mark III. This is my second ship. The Eagle, I also bought it, but I have not tried it yet. It's a light fighter. I don't know how, um, how good it is at fighting, but the speed is quite fast, so I might try it later. I think those are the starter ships up to here, up to the Cobra Mark III. The Cobra Mark III, of course. This one helped me to make actually a lot of money. I, I used this ship to do a lot of delivery and uh, did some light combat. I died a lot in this ship, so the next ship I want to buy, I want to focus more on combat, but also some uh, delivery as well, so I need some cargo space. The Type 6 Transporter, 1 million, I have enough money to buy this one. So manufactured by Lacan Space Waste, the Type 6 Transporter is seen by many independent pilots as a natural progression from the versatile Cobra Mark III. When appropriately outfitted, the ship offers sufficient cargo space for profitable trading of standard commodities, precluding the need to transport rare commodities long distance. The Type 6 has limited combat ability. However, and pilots who expect conflicts are advised to upgrade the, sh the ship's shield and hull. We have only two small hardpoints, so definitely not good for combat. Based on the Type 6 transporter, the Keelback is a hardy fighter freighter designed for hostile environment deliveries. Okay, the small hardpoints of the Type 6 have been bolstered with two medium hard points, but it is the Cubax's ability to accommodate a fighter bay that really sets it apart. The ship also boasts superior armor and shield to the Type 6, making it a good option for traders who plan to travel without an escort. The Cubax has been designed for medium-sized landing pads. Okay, so it has a fighter port, I think. Two small hard points and two medium hard points. And it is within my price range. Yeah, the look of the ship is not very ideal. Okay, so next ship, the Vulture. Core Dynamics pushed its expertise to the limit when creating the Vulture, employing sophisticated techniques to integrate two large hard points into the ship's Compact frame, the manufacturer also graced the Vulture with powerful lateral thrusters, allowing it to evade incoming fire while dealing significant damage and making it particularly deadly in combat. The Vulture has been designed for small size landing pads. Okay, so the Vulture is actually a small ship. It got only two hardpoints, but two large hardpoints. I wish it could have more, but the maneuverability is, uh, is, is okay. Five. Boost speed 349, top speed 215, okay. Shield 293, cargo capacity only 8. The Vulture is definitely more for combat. I think this will be a better ship for me. Vulture purchased, and let me take a look at the ship. Yeah, it's a small size ship. Definitely smaller. It's actually not bad. The look is actually pretty cool though. Large hard points, size 3 hard points. So let me see. Okay, definitely I will change them to um, to this multi-cannon. So buy and equip. I already don't have enough money to buy anything else. Okay. In that case, let's do the customization. I really love this. So paint job first. Wow, look at these paints. These are really colorful paint. Okay, I love these neon lights, neon paints, the pulse. Ooh, I kind of like this very simple one color look. Crispest white, really hard to choose. All right, so I am going to use this prestige orange for my paint. Weapon, I'm still going to use the green and uh, thruster, still going to use the green. Oh, decal, haha, <laughs> decal, I'm going to use this face. Ship kits, this is what I'm really interested spoilers could be so cool okay maybe so that spoiler i'm gonna use number three 
Ooh, the wings. Wings is nice. This will make the ship look much better. I think this one. Yep, this one also have a little fin in the front as well. Tail. Yeah, I can't rotate the ship. I cannot see it. So I'm going to use this one as a tail. This bumper looks pretty cool. And then identification. Okay. Vulture. Cockpit accessories. I'm going to use this one. Ooh, there are so many. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, Christmas light <laughs> for this one. Oh, this looks way different. I wish the um, the spoiler, the wing, and the bumper can be also painted with that color. But no, just the ship. But this looks much better. I love it. Let's try some combat mission. I'm going to accept a few combat mission in only this system. LHS 3447. Eliminate three. So accepting mission. Accepting this one as well. Accepting this one. Good. Let's go. The Christmas lights. I decorated my dashboard. Let me see my dashboard. Very comfy. Nice. I don't know where is my target. Or use a discovery scanner to locate the target signal source. Discovery scanner. So let me fly to the nav beacon first. Okay. I'm being quantum interdicted. There we go. Reduce my speed to zero. I'm being attacked. Oh, someone's attacking me. Where? Oh, over here. Okay. Target, fire. Fire. Hold on. Change to my... There we go. Oh, my shield is almost down. Okay. Okay, target shield is offline. Oh, my shield is offline. Yeah, am I hitting the target? I don't think I'm hitting the target. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh! Die! There we go. Mission accomplished. Well, I suffered some hull damage as well. Okay, reward available. So, well done. Well done, Commander. So, that's one mission accomplished. Okay, second assassination mission. Still have to go to Nav Beacon to scan it. Oh! Getting interdicted again. Okay. Okay, return fire. Oh! That was close. Oh, looks like I have some helper. Okay. Okay. Target shield down. Using ballistics. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Enemy destroyed. Boom. Two mission accomplished. Nice. Ooh. It's a little bit scary, but uh, being interdicted again. Come on, pirate. I am here for you. 
Yeah, this uh, laser is not really effective. Okay, using ballistics. Okay, ballistics is good. Alright, enemy down. Nice. Okay, time to go back to collect my reward. Successful trip, successful missions. Mission board. Ooh, we finished five missions. Wow. Let's see how much we've made. Wow, this ship just made me a couple million. That's crazy. Wow, from uh, less than 100k, right now we have 3.6 million credits. Nice. Okay, I also have some bounty, so I'm going to collect my, my, redeem my bounty voucher. Now I have 4.4 million. That's crazy. All right, so this is it for this video. This is the third ship that I got in Elite Dangerous, the Vulture. And I really, really love this ship. The firepower is pretty good. You know, I did a couple missions and made a lot of money in a very, very short time. I've never, in these couple days, I start playing Elite Dangerous. This is so far <laughs> the best experience because I was so frustrated for a few days playing Elite Dangerous because the missions sometimes are so difficult. I don't even know how to find the mission target, all that and stuff. But uh, today, it's great. And I made a couple million. So I'm going to grind a few more, and in my next video, I am going to buy the next ship. I don't know which one yet. Stay tuned.